Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Eric Ten Hag wants Chelsea's Nicolo Kante at Manchester United. Nicolo Kante's contract at Chelsea expires next year. Kante is regarded as one of the best midfielders in the world. Kante has been at Chelsea for around six years. Chelsea got him from Leicester back in 2016. Chelsea paid around £32 million. Kante has made 181 appearances in the Premier League for Chelsea. Um, he's won the Premier League as a Chelsea player. He also won it when he was at Leicester. Uh, Man United have done transfer business with Chelsea before because back in 2017, Manchester United got Matic from Chelsea. Man United got him for £40 million. And Back in 2014, Manchester United got Juan Mata from Chelsea. Now, Manchester United are close to signing Frankie de Jong. It said quite a few days ago that Frankie de Jong to Manchester United is 95% done. Eric Ten Hag has already contacted Frankie de Jong's agent. And Javi has given Man United hope of completing a transfer for Frankie de Jong. I've heard today that Frankie de Jong wants a transfer to Man City over Man United despite being offered £6 million less. Frankie de Jong has been at Barcelona since 2019. He's got a contract with them until 2026. Barcelona got him from Ajax to pay around £65 million. <coughs> There's a lot of players that Eric Ten Hag wants to bring to Manchester United. His transfer budget is around £170 million. Uh, Ten Hag is also going to get rid of a lot of players this year, so reflecting on that, he will generate money. Last month, it got officially announced that Man United appointed Eric Ten Hag as their new manager. Um, Eric Ten Hag is going to replace Ralph Rangnick. Eric Ten Hag signed a three-year contract with an option of a further year. Man United agreed the compensation with Ajax for Ten Hag. The compensation was below two million. But yeah, it's going to be good for Ten Hag to come and experience the Premier League. You've got to admire the work he's done at Ajax. You know he's won every device titles with them. He's won Dutch cups. Uh, revert back to twenty nineteen. He got Ajax to the Champions League semi finals. He got appointed in as the Ajax manager back in December 2017. His contract at Ajax was due to expire next year. <coughs> um, Ten Hag uh, will be in the stands for Man United's game against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park next Sunday. As for Ralph Rangnick, he has one game remaining as Manchester United's interim manager. Ralph Rangnick has been Man United's interim manager for over four months. A few weeks ago, it got officially announced that Ralph Rangnick got appointed in as the new manager of Austria. Uh, Ralph Rangnick signed a two-year contract, but despite that, Rangnick will continue in a consultancy role at Man United until 2024. Uh, 
unfortunately, Ralph Rangnick did not get backed in this year's January transfer window. Early on this season, Rangnick recommended Ewan Sharpin as an assistant coach and analyst. He also recommended Chris Armisen as an assistant coach and he recommended Saz Chalenzin as a sports psychologist. <coughs> And before, Ralph Rangnick was the Head of Sports and Development at Locomotive Moscow. Manchester United have sat four permanent managers since Ferguson retired. You know, Manchester United sat David Moyes, then Man United sat Louis van Gaal. We sat Mourinho, and in November last year, Manchester United sat Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Like I say, I hate the way the football club has been run for a long time. We've got to get the Glazers out of the football club because they've been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time, and recently, a lot of Man United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. And Man United fans will continue to protest until the Glazers are out. The Glazers have owned Manchester United for around 17 years. They bought the club for £500 million back in 2005. <coughs> A few weeks ago, it got officially announced that Matt Judge resigned. Uh, so reflecting on that, he will not play a role in the summer transfer window. Matt Judge was at Man United for eight years. Man United have not been the same team since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. No one will replicate what Ferguson did at the club. Alex Ferguson, greatest manager of all time. You know, he brought success to Manchester United because he won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles. But he didn't settle in straight away, Ferguson, because he didn't win out in his first four years at Man United. Alex Ferguson was the Man United manager for 27 years. So reflecting on that, he was a long-serving manager. Alex Ferguson retired almost 10 years ago. The only mistake Ferguson made was recommending David Moyes in when he retired, but the reasons he did that is because they're both Scottish and at that time Alex Ferguson had a lot of time for Moyes. As things stand now, Manchester United have not won a trophy for around five years. That's nowhere near good enough to our standards. We've only won, what, four trophies in the last ten years. You know, we've won the FA Cup under Van Gaal, won the Europa League, the EFL Cup and the Community Shield under Jose Mourinho, if you want to put the Community Shield into the equation. And Man United obviously won the Premier League back in 2013. That's the last time we won the Premier League. A lot of players, though, like I say, are going to leave Manchester United. Um, Dean Henderson will be leaving. Dean Henderson is our second-choice keeper. Henderson doesn't really get in goal because revert back to the summer of last year, De Gea reclaimed that number one spot back. Henderson's only made three appearances this season. Uh, I think Tom Eaton should be leaving the club as well this year. If he doesn't leave this year, he'll leave next year. Tom Eaton's our third-choice goalkeeper as a backup. Man United got Tom Eaton on a free transfer from Villa last year. Uh, Lee Grant reckon he'll be leaving as well. Lee Grant's our fourth-choice goalkeeper. I reckon this season is Alex Tellez's last, last season at the club. Uh, Tellez has been poor now for the last few months. Uh, Tellez has been subjected to a lot of transfer speculation before. Tellez has been our first-choice left-back under Rangnick. Phil Jones and Eric Bailly, they'll also be leaving the club. Uh, not so long ago, Jones and Bailly told the teammates that they intend on leaving the club. 
I think there's a good chance Harry Maguire will be leaving this summer because Harry Maguire is not good enough to represent the club. Uh, come back from injury not so long ago. He's had quite a few injuries since he came with the club. A lot of United fans have been demanding for the captaincy to be taken off Maguire, especially throughout the course of this season. Revert back to a few weeks ago, Maguire received a bomb threat at his home and reflecting on that, um, he called the police. Man United overpaid for Maguire, got him for £80 million. He's the most expensive centre-half in the world at the moment and the second most expensive sign at the club. Maguire has been at Man United for around three years. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, I reckon he's leaving this year. Um, Atletico Madrid want him on loan. I also heard that Aaron Wan-Bissaka could go back to Crystal Palace. Aaron Wan-Bissaka is good defensively, but the attacking side of his game is not so good. He's not been our first choice right back under Rangnick, uh, Diego Daloas. This season has been Aaron wan -Bissaka's third full season at Man United. You know, we've paid around £50 million for him from Crystal Palace back in 2019. <coughs> Dalot, do you think he could leave this year? If he doesn't leave this year, I think he'll leave next year. Uh, Matic, we know that he's leaving because we've heard back to a few weeks ago and the Man Matic announced he will be leaving Man United this summer despite having 12 months on his contract. Matic isn't one of our first choice midfielders, but despite that, he's still being given his opportunities. He's the only predominant centre defensive midfielder Man United have got at the moment. Matic has been at the club for around five years. Paul Pogba looks like he's leaving Man United this summer. He's out of contract this summer. Sky Sports said not so long ago that Paul Pogba is likely to move abroad when his contract runs out this summer. Real Madrid, Juventus and PSG are interested. Not so long ago, Paul Pogba rejected a move to Man City. He did say that Man City consider signing Pogba on a free from Manchester United and City were willing to offer him a four-year deal. Earlier on this season, uh, Rangnick said that Pogba was unlikely to play for Man United again. He came off injured, didn't he, in the 4-0 defeat to Liverpool at Anfield. Pogba is injury prone because he's had enjoyed quite a lot of injuries since he re-signed for the club. But Pogba is a good player when he wants to be and he's also an imperative player. This season has been Pogba's sixth season at Man United since he re-signed. He's played over 200 games since he re-signed. Man United paid £89 million for Paul Popper, so reflecting on that is our most expensive sign at the moment. Jesse Lingard, um, he should be leaving as well. He um, said not so long ago that he's resigned to leaving Man United this summer. Revert back to January this year, Lingard should have left, but Man United blocked his exit. Lingard's out of contract this summer. He's a squad player, Lingard, because he doesn't really get in the team. Lingard has been part of the club for a long time, though he came up our academy in that. You know, the second half of last season, he enjoyed the four month loan spell with West Ham and he made an impact. Um, Martial will look to get rid of him permanently this summer. Uh, Martial's out on loan with Sevilla at the moment. Juan Mata, he'll be leaving Man United as well this summer. He's out of contract this summer. Uh, Mata, has been a long-serving player at Man United. He's been at Man United for eight years. And he's had a good career at the club. Uh, Man United got Matter from Chelsea back in 2014. Uh, Matter is a squad player. He doesn't really get in the team. But he has started the last, what, two or three games. Edison Cavani, he's another one that should be leaving as well this summer on a free. Man United got Cavani on a free transfer from PSG back in the summer of 2020. Uh, Cavani came back from injury not so long ago.
Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, I reckon he'll leave next year. I don't think he'll leave this summer. You know, Cristiano Ronaldo will want to play under Eric Ten Hag. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo has come out and said that he wants to stay at Man United and Eric Ten Hag has said he wants Cristiano Ronaldo to stay. Ronaldo's contract at Manchester United expires next year. There's an option of a further year. Ronaldo's the highest earner at Man United at the moment. He earns £480,000 a week. Uh, Man United re-signed Ronaldo in the summer of last year from Juventus. Uh, since Ronaldo re-signed for Man United, he's scored 18 Premier League goals and he's got 24 goals in all competitions. He's the best player in the world overall. He's won over 30 trophies in his playing career, including five Ballon d'Ors. Um, earlier on this season, don't forget, Ronaldo announced his baby son had passed away and that was upsetting. Uh, Marcus Rashford, you know, he could be leaving Man United probably next year. I don't think he'll leave this summer. You know, Rashford has been out of form this season. He hasn't been the same player since he had that operation on his shoulder. He missed the first two months of this season with that shoulder problem. He's recently been out of illness as well. Um, Man United do want at least £60 million for Rashford. Rashford's contract at the club expires next year. Uh, I think Fred as well could leave next year. He won't leave this summer. You know, Fred's not good enough. Come back from injury not so long ago. Man United got Fred from Shat to the Nest. Got him in a deal worth £50 million. Lindelof, he's another one who I reckon will leave next year. Uh, Lindelof is no longer one of our first choice centre halves because Man United signed Baran last year. But obviously, with the injury crisis Man United had, you know, we obviously had to start Lindelof. Uh, Luke Shaw, do you think he could possibly leave next year because he's out of contract next year? So, there you go. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.